Don't tell New York Giants first round draft pick Malik Neighbors what he can and can't do. The former LSU receiver is the kind of guy who, when he sets his mind to doing something, it gets done. Whether that's playing college ball at LSU, getting drafted by an NFL team, or buying his mother Tanya her first house. And that can-do attitude is just fine as far as the Giants are concerned. Because this is a team, or more specifically an offense, that last year got pushed around a little too often for most people's tastes. This is an offense that desperately needs a lot more of that quote-unquote dog mentality. And Neighbors is just a guy to bring it. Obviously, we picked him really high. So I think there's a lot of things, a lot of qualities about him that... Um, you can hopefully project him taking a good step here in this league, but there's a lot to learn. He's, he's athletic, he's quick, he's explosive, he has very good hands, he's got good awareness, he's got flexibility to play inside and outside. You know, now it's, it's our job and it's his job here to go ahead and start picking it up and uh, there's, there's a lot to learn. But, um, you know, certainly we thought he was a really good player, obviously, where we took him. Neighbors, who impressed in drills during the two-day rookie minicamp, told the story about how Giants receivers coach Mike Rowe told him that he wasn't going to be participating in everything. And the receiver asked why. That wasn't a sign of a player clapping back at a coach or being disrespectful, but more so of a player who was itching to hit the ground running for his new team. You know, the level that I see myself playing, you know, as a player and as a, you know, a competitive person, you know, I'm always, you know, want to go fast. But, you know, Coach Dayball, he always tells me, you know, I know the type of player you are, you're going to want to take in all the information at once. But, you know, with this offense, you got to slow it down. You got to take it step by step for you to be where you want to be. You got to know what you got to do. So for me to play at 100, you know, 100 miles per hour, you know, I still got to know what I got to do. What he's got to do for the Giants is to add some explosiveness to an offense that sorely lacked it last season. Whether that's snagging a ball while on the move and turning on the Jets or out muscling a defensive back, trying to deny him a reception, Neighbors, who thus far has fulfilled every major goal in his young life, will now look to make another dream come true by etching his name in the Giants' record books as he seeks to help turbocharge an offense that last year struggled badly to produce.